guys welcome back it's melody and today we're going to be talking about the top life hacks to simplify your life if you like videos on life hacks definitely do subscribe i save the very best tip for last so don't forget to stay tuned until the very end the very first tip that i have is to keep everything in one area and this is very important we try to organize everything according to the where it would be the easiest to take out that's where we mess up because things are hard to put back not to take out for the most part we'll go and go get anything that we really really want but we will not put it back so my number one tip is to have everything in one area so a lot of minimalists they will grab a dresser and they will put it in the closet and then they'll have all of their things in that area their bag their shoes their jackets everything they don't disperse it coat closet so that when they come into the house they go straight to that area that is their own personal space and they put everything away one by one and it's easy to put everything away because everything's right in front of your face it streamlines everything however if this is not possible for you to have everything in one try to get everything in two places hang up your really nice clothes in the closet and keep your electronics your first aid light bulbs batteries in the same area so that if someone is looking for something for instance first aid they know exactly where to go it's all in that same area the second tip that i have is to keep cleaning products to the barest of the bear they don't call it all-purpose spray for nothing it is really all purpose and for me all my all-purpose spray is half vinegar and half water and with just half vinegar and half water i am able to clean almost anything in the house the key is to keep up with things regularly and then you don't need any strong chemicals so cut out all that stress cut out all the storage of all those specialty cleaning products your home will be more minimalist and also healthier so you can't lose the third tip that I have is to make less trips to the grocery store as much as possible to cut back three ways that you can cut down the trips to grocery stores and cut down wasted energy and the first way is to drink only water and if you are going to cook with things like tomato juice or beef broth you can freeze the leftovers in the freezer and then pull them out as you need them so you don't always need to have fresh on stock and then the second way to cut down trips is to cut down on paper towel usage use your old dish rags cut them down to size grab a bucket put it underneath your sink fill it with water and vinegar just a very little bit and every time your rag gets super grimy just throw it into the bucket and at the end of the week wash it with the rest of your towels the third thing that i highly recommend is to have an amazon wish list meaning things that you always get on Amazon because if you do not have this wish list ready to go, oftentimes you will just go to the store as you run out of paper towels or toilet paper and make extra trips. The price is very close to what I can get in the stores and so I just pop it on a wish list and then from the wish list, I add it to my cart as things run out. So keep a designated wish list on Amazon of just the things that you always buy on Amazon. The fourth tip I have is to keep meals to two a day. And I've been doing this probably a decade or more. And when I was younger, I had gone to the gym regularly, I tried to have five, six small meals a day, and it so complicated my life. And ever since I cut down to just two meals a day, maintaining weight has been easy. Meal planning for just two servings is a lot easier so you can be more particular about at what you're eating. American serving sizes when we eat out, they're huge. They are gigantic and oftentimes we will cut it in half or we will just try to consume as much as we can of the plate and that is way, way too many calories that any person can burn, especially a woman. By cutting it down to just two meals a day, when you do eat out, it's not as big of a deal. It's very hard to eat healthy when we're eating cereals and milks and waffles and syrups. It is a lot easier to lose weight if you actually skip breakfast altogether. You may want to have a little snack for the morning time, but you don't have to have a full-blown meal. Simplify your life today by cutting down to just two meals a day or two and a half meals a day. My fifth tip is to suspend everything. This is my favorite tip. Just elevate everything. It makes wiping counters, wiping surfaces a breeze. So whatever you've got to do, whether you got to get Velcro strips or you've got to get hooks, just do it. Organizers suspend everything. And here you're seeing the top ways that I suspend all of the things that I own. And let me just say it makes a huge difference because it encourages you to clean. When your counter is always bare after you get done cooking, it's easy to just wipe everything down. So it encourages you to keep up with things daily. 
elevate everything. This cannot be emphasized enough. Surface space attracts clutter. It attracts dust and it attracts clutter because it's getting in the way of the floor. So dust is traveling down and then a surface is there and it just lands there instead of making it to the floor where it's really easy for us to vacuum up. And so you want to eliminate as much surface space as possible. And then after that, you don't want to store everything on surfaces because any surface space you have in the house will need to be wiped down regularly. You wanna hide everything as much as possible things like towels for instance they will actually cause dust simplify your life so much by just hiding everything especially in the bathroom in the bathroom you might have a plunger and you might have a toilet bowl cleaner put all of that under the sink don't keep everything just out because when you're cleaning the bathroom all of a sudden now you have to be cleaning your cleaning products because they're all out and dust and hair is falling all over everything so simplify your life as much as possible by hiding everything it's also very aesthetically pleasing when everything's tucked away. My third to the last tip is to take on the 30 day no spend challenge. And this is huge for minimalism because the number one place that a lot of people have trouble cutting down besides their closets and their paperwork is their kitchen. It's so hard to decide what to keep and what not to. So what you can do is do a 30 day no spend challenge and that's so easy to not only lose weight save a ton of money because you don't realize how much money goes to eating out and other little things like that but also it clears out your pantry because you have to just stick to the food you have on you you basically can only buy fresh produce so you have to use whatever grains and whatever flours is in your pantry which is really good because baking i recommend that unless you do baking as a hobby to cut down on baking if you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to simplify your life bakeware and baking ingredients take up so much space and they add very little value you can go ahead and bake through that time you can get through all the things in your freezer and you can just clear out everything because if you haven't used it in 30 days and you couldn't eat out at all then it's a good chance you're probably never going to use that kitchenware the second to the last tip that i have is to limit the amount of things that you mail out to pay all of your bills online if at all possible so right now the only time i mail out a letter is when i'm sending my i IRS quarterlies. Letters is one thing that I will rarely ever get through, so I always buy the fewest amount. And if you have too many letters as it is, you bought a giant pack from Costco, my recommendation is to cut it out now. You can't put a number on the value that it gives you when you can just get to where you've always wanted to be now and not have to wait and get through years and years of backup of Q-tips because you hoarded too much. <laughs> so cut down on it now. As for pens, I only own two in my entire house. House. my household is probably not as big as yours <laughs> but so you'll probably need more than two pens but what I'm trying to say is when you cut down to the barest of the bare things rarely ever get lost because there's a lot less products to lose them in and we are coming to my very last tip we waste so much motion when by constantly going over to the mouse to click on stuff when you can do everything pretty much from the keyboard but what you want to do is you want to line up all of the programs you use all of the time onto the start bar so it's always there so here you can see the programs I open up every day and I've lined them up according to the ones I use the most so the most used program is first I need to open up three programs to do my job every morning so what I will do is I will hit the Windows key which is the flag the Windows key and one the Windows key two and the Windows key three and what that does is that opens up one two and three in the order that it's on the toolbar. It, so you're not constantly having to look for programs. So whatever programs you use, put that on your toolbar so you can hit Windows 1, Windows 2. Control T opens up a new tab and Control W closes your tab. So whatever tab you're on, Control W closes, Control T opens a new tab. Control 1 goes to the first tab, Control 2 goes to the second tab and so on and i would recommend writing these five i have it in the down bar writing these five down in your notepad until it becomes second nature and then you don't need to look at it in your notebook ever again most important key combination that you need to know is alt tab and alt tab rotates through the tabs you have going on so if you're working on chrome and notepad and maybe another program you want to rotate through those 
regularly. When you hit Alt tab, it rotates through wherever you need to go. I hope that these tips gave you a lot of inspiration. I hope that you can try one today. And if this video did help you out, definitely give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all next Sunday.